Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing ghost face tutorial. Now, we've done ghost face many times before in many different books, on many different papers, painted him, drawn him. So this is the finished picture, what we will be doing today. First of all, I'm just going to show you a few examples of the ghost faces I have drawn. And then we will begin the step-by-step -step tutorial. So as you can see, I've drawn him many times and a lot of the time I like to put blood on his face because I feel like that is his signature look and it makes him look more realistic. And I also did a glow card one. So let's begin with the main tutorial. So to begin with, A4 piece of paper. And we're going to start by doing a few drawing tips on the eyes. Right, so the easiest way to get the eyes, I would draw a circle and this will get you the shape of the eye. And then leave a little gap in the middle and we'll draw another circle to the right hand side. So you've got two circles, same size, with a little gap in between. And then you're just going to add a slightly bigger circle joining on from it. So it's kind of like drawing a side with snowman. So you draw a bigger circle under both sides at an angle. You almost do it halfway point of the circle. And then it creates this shape. You see, the actual shape you're trying to draw, you can just draw freehand. It's like drawing like a jelly bean or a peanut, if you're comfortable with it. But if you do the circle method, you've got a shape to follow. So you just practice it and you can draw it as many times as you want. Now, let's say you have a similar problem to me. You can draw the left eye really good, but then you struggle to do the right eye symmetrical. So draw the left one and then you draw a line across from the bottom and a line across from the top. So now on this one, I'm just going to draw a straight line down on both sides. And I'm going to fill in the shape. So I can see on the left, I've got a triangle. And on the right, I've got a triangle. So I just make the same shapes. So on the edge, that's a little triangle. So draw a straight line up, I've got a square. Sounds complicated, but stick with me. And I just want to fill in the eye, comparing it to the left. So as you can see, there's a tiny little triangle on this bottom right corner. So I just make that little triangle there on this side. Then the top bit. So I need to make a similar shape as I do on that side. So I know it curves at the top. There's a little curve just like that. And then I want to make that shape. So I'm going to swirl it around so that I've got a similar shape. Now that is a made up shape, some sort of swervy triangle. But now I just fill in the middle part and I've got the eye exactly like the other side. They don't look identical. The right one actually looks better than the left now. I mean, you can do his eyes multiple ways. You can do them smaller, bigger. I mean, you can do it, try and do them tiny like this and it might be easier. And try again here, just do them again, a little bit bigger than that. So it's like a medium size. That's a bit better. See, the more you do it, better you get at it. You need to make sure you get a nice little, like a thin gap in the middle. That's probably the best way. And of course, an even easier way is if you get a close shape, just draw it. Draw it in where it's wrong, make it shorter. Bring the lines wider where you want them. And then curve it up so you get it more close to the shape that you want on the other side. And then just rub your lines out. This is why you do it in a pencil. And then look, now these two eyes are almost identical. Almost looks like I've got a nose ready for it underneath, but they're another set of eyes. So as you can see with the snowman method, you just follow the guidelines. Just draw straight over them. You see, it doesn't matter what goes on inside the eye because you're going to be colouring it in black anyway. So we'll just run through the snowman method again. Little circle, bigger circle little circle, bigger circle, and then boom, black pen, draw straight over it, following the shape, boom. It doesn't matter if they cross over, because you're going to be colouring it inside anyway. So you can make it wider. There you go, round the shape, perfect, and then colour it in. So same again on this one, boom, straight round, and then whip it in, jelly bean shape, Colour it in, you've got your two circles inside, covered over. Any excess pencil line, just rub out. 
and then once you've got your eyes down I'll just show you quickly what you do then triangle for the nose and then you can put curves at the bottom round at the top and then you're just gonna add in extra lines underneath for like cheekbones around the eyes I'll show you this very quickly because this is not the actual uh, picture we'll be doing you see it's really easy you just start on the jaw then from the top of the eyes nice long face fatter at the top rounder at the bottom and then you draw a hood covering the rest of the face and it's pretty much done that's that's how easy that can be once you get the eyes done okay so let's start on with the main part you just want to get a ruler and you're going to divide your page into two a line straight down the middle and then you're going to draw your eyes now i'm just going to be doing the freehand method so jelly beans but you can choose any one of the methods that we've discussed before for the eyes all that practicing on the eyes just then has made me uh, walk into this tutorial doing them pretty perfect really slightly thinner on the right but i'll make that a little bit wider but yeah pretty much you want your eyes a bit closer in the middle though i would say you don't want a wide gap like i've got on mine but i'm gonna leave it as it is for now so then you're going to make a start on the triangular nose and you're just going to put the point of the triangle at the top in line with the eyes. So you curve the bottom part and then rounded top for the nose. Then about a finger space beneath, you're going to start the top of the mouth. So you just draw a straight line that's going to be uh, wider than the nose. Now the length of the mouth really determines up to you really so i'm just going to draw it roughly this size to start with and if it's too short i'll just extend it but as you can see you want to go nice and narrow at the bottom of the jaw where the yeah where the chin is and then you want to go wider at the top so it slightly comes out further in the middle and then wide at the top now once you've got your essentials in you just want to make a start on the cheekbones so they go directly below the eye sockets so it's just a nice round and you just want to follow the shape of the eye basically and then you do the same at the top so a nice little little v, v in the middle where the forehead is do the same on the left side follow the shape of the eye and round it doesn't need to go completely round on the left side because we've got the hood coming over so if you just do it like that Right, so the forehead at the top doesn't need to be too high up. So if we just do it like that, a bit below the top of the page, so we can fit the hood in. And then I'll just roughly draw in the hood at the minute. So it'll come down wavy on the left side. And we'll do it. I can't fit it on top of the page, but it's narrower on the right. And then down off page. I'll do it wiggly down on the left. Right, so the chin, I'm just going to do it like double up the line so it's like a lip. And then I'm going to go up on the left hand side, I'm going to go up to three quarters high. And then I'm going to start going out towards the eye socket. So I'm going to do that on an angle. And that is one side. And then on the right side, I'm going to do it a similar position. So I just dot that and then that's going to go out a little bit wider. It doesn't want to be symmetrical, it's slightly different on the right side. Now looking at that, his mouth and chin doesn't look long enough. But I'm just going to put some more detailing in on the hood. Make it look like ripples. And then I'm going to rub this uh, mouth a piece out of the bottom. And I'm going to make it a little longer. So it looks like he's got the longer um, scream. And then it's the same principles again, doubled up like a lip. That's a bit better. I mean, you can do it as long as you want, really. If you want it a bit longer than that, just do it the same, but make it longer. Right. So now I'm going to colour it in. So I'm just going to put some paper underneath because it always soaks through whatever colours I use. So now all the outline is done, we're going to be going over it in a black marker. So 
if you want to make any changes now is the time so i'm just going to widen this right eye up because like we said earlier it looked a bit thinner than the other one so i'm just going to make that a little bit wider and again like i said earlier his eyes look too wide apart so i'm going to bring the eye in a little bit more just like so and then i can rub that line out so there we go the eyes are a bit closer together Got the nice same curve on both sides. This one wants to curve in a little bit more and then out. So just like that. Now we can go over it in a black. So you get your black, you get a marker or a paint pen or black biro, whatever. Go around the outline of the eye like so. That's nice. And then the same on the other one. All the way around. And join it up. And your eyes look pretty decent. You won't notice it when it's coloured that one's slightly uh, different shape. But you just colour your eyes in. So I'm just going to speed this a little bit up now. Colour your eyes in block black. Once you've coloured your eyes in, we're going to go around the nose, colour that in. And then it's the same with the mouth. Go around the mouth and colour the mouth in. Then you've got your basics coloured in block, colour black. Right, so now is when you want to start doing some shadows around the eyes, because this is what makes it stand out better. This is what makes it look realistic. So get older a couple of greys, a light grey and a darker grey. Or if you've got another grey, get three greys, a medium grey. So we're going to get the light grey to start with. And we're just going to add in some light shadows across the cheekbone coming from the jaw. And then with the same grey, we'll do the same. We're going to do a little shadow on the right side of the eye. And then we're going to join this shadow up towards the nose so it's making the face uh, giving it some depth make it look 3d so we'll color some more shadows in on the top so a little bit on the top left and a little bit on the right just roughly shade that in above the top right eye and then we're going to get a darker gray and we're going to add these around the darker points of the eyes so around the edges really of where we've drawn the cheekbones. Just like that. And then finish off underneath the right eye. A bit darker. And I'm going to add in some darker bits on the corners of the chin and the cheekbone. And I'll just put a little bit more on the right side so it goes all the way around the eye i think that'll do for now so that's starting to look pretty good got some nice little highlights and then we're going to go in with another gray the medium gray i'm going to just put one underneath the nose and on the side top of the nose to try and make it look 3d so with that medium grey, we're going to go around the top of the eye and the bottom on the right side. Now I'm going to go around the outside of the face with the black marker. Try not to colour over the shadow I've already put in at the bottom. So this is going to go all the way up and round to the cheekbone. Now I'm only doing the outskirts of the face. I'm not going to be doing any more black inside the face, not the eye like the eyebrows or cheekbones. So it's just the capping off the um, hoodie. So once we've got that, all the outside wants colour in black. So just draw it wriggly down on the left, comes narrow on the right, and then off page. 
So you've got the outlines of the hoodie now. I'm just going to add in a darker shadow on the forehead where the hood is. So I'm going to go over some of the shadows with a darker grey. So mostly where I've already put the shadows, I'm just going to go over in parts darker. And a few more into the middle section. And then I think we'll be ready for blood. So I like to add blood in over the top of the shadows. Because then you get darker blood and brighter blood. So with your red colour, red ink, you go over the shadow. If you've got a red that works. And it will look darker on top of the grey. You just try and find another red. So when you've got a working red, you're just going to add in some blood underneath the cheekbones, we're calling them. Now you want to make them look like it's running down on an angle off of the like 3D cheekbone. So I'm just going to add some drips coming down and then some splashes, some runs of red blood. And I'm going to do this underneath the nose as well. And it's going to go on an angle into the mouth. So it's going to go up. And you've got to think the nose, it would go up on an angle and then straight. So it, try and make it look like it's going down the side of the nose. I'll add some down the sides of the mouth. Some splashes and drips. Some thicker parts running. And you can really just like freestyle this your own way, how you want to put the blood on. But just make sure you're doing it wavy and trying to make it look like it's following the directions of a human face or mask. Just have a bit of fun with it and make it look messy. The most important part, I like to put the blood on is cheekbones. I always like to add it on the cheekbones. So that it's, it always looks 3D with a shadow on it, a darker grey underneath. And it's easy to guess the direction the blood would drop. So just try and fill in some gaps with blood and drips. I'm just going to speed up the rest of the drawing now for the blood bit because you know what you're doing, just add it in random places and try and follow directions. Put as much blood on as you want for your individual piece. I would say leave a few gaps for blood to be missing. And then finally, I'm going to finish off with some more greys. Darken up some of the blood. So I'm just going to go over it a little bit on the blood parts. Once you've finished with the blood and the shadows, we're going to finish off with a little bit of white. So put some white on the nose, tip of the nose, and on the mouth. And then I do a few in the eye socket to try and make it look like it's got some depth. And I'll put a little bit of white in the blood. And that'll make it look like it's dripping a little bit more get a little bit of shine on certain areas. So again, I do this just randomly and don't overdo it. Once you've done that, you've got your face pretty much done. It's all about colouring in the hood. So I'm just going to colour that in and then we're done. But it's going to take me for eight, uh, ages with a pen, so I think I will just colour it because I don't want to waste my black as well. I'm going to use a paintbrush and just paint the last bit black. Take me two minutes then. So now you've got all the tips and tricks you need to do your own ghost face. And you don't really have to put blood on, you could just leave it as shadows. Put shadows on and leave him with clean white mask. But just add some shadows obviously for it to look more like the movie. 
But I think it always looks better with blood on. Gives it more of the horror look. So thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Leave any comments or suggestions on any other future tutorials we should do and I'll give it a go. Hello. Who is this? What's your favorite scary movie? Don't hang up on me. I told you not to hang up on me. If you hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a fish, understand? They'd never make it in time. We're out in the middle of nowhere to see what your insides look like. I want to play a game. I'm afraid that was a wrong answer. Hello, Sydney. Scary night, isn't it? With the murders and all, it's like right out of a horror movie or something. Do you like scary movies, Sydney? The question isn't, who am I? The question is...